Do you know what that sign is you're standing next to? The yellow one? It means that there could be radiation. What does that mean? It's going to make you grow another head. Today, me and Olivia are going to go visit a nuclear reactor, the Experimental Breeder Reactor 1 at the Idaho National Laboratory. Mila and Olivia don't care, so we're going to stay here and work and do laundry, and I think Mila has crafts planned. Hey, Livy. Yeah? You remember where I told you we're going? The nuclear reactor. Yeah. Do you know what a nuclear reactor does? No. No, you're going to find out. So on the way to Atomic City and EBR1, there's a rest area just inside the entrance of the National Laboratory, and it has some, some signs that tells the story of the area, and it's pretty interesting. Oh, apparently this was a, a bombing range during World War II, and more naval reactors were produced here than, than anywhere else. They actually mounted guns on a berm. You can't see, well, you can see it from here, but on the camera, they fired them to that mountain just to see what would happen. Let's go see some nuclear power. Smile. These two big test beds here were the government or the Air Force's attempt to make a nuclear powered airplane. They were both functioning reactors, I believe what the sign said, and they were HTRE 1 and 2. I'm guessing it was uh, not feasible to make that big thing fly, because it's mounted on train tracks. Is the inlet for the jet engine, and it sucked the cold air up, and went into this right here, where the reactor was, and it accelerated it and spit it out this turbine right here. So it's pretty cool already that you can see two actual working reactors while well, they did work before, and they tried to stick them in a plane. America in the 50s was cool. You ready to go inside? Yeah. All right, let's go inside. This and then and then it goes back into here. Olivia and I just finished up with a self-guided tour. We were just maybe 20 minutes too late for the guided tour. It was pretty crowded anyway. But they do have pamphlets you can pick up that uh, explain every stop along the way. It's pretty good. Um, it's, uh, it's free and it's a quick stop. But I thought it was really interesting to learn how uh, uh, brave <laughs> these 1950s scientists were. Livy, what'd you think? That was cool! Can you tell me one thing you learned? I learned... Hot... The air goes in, and it gets heated, and it goes back out to get cold. She almost learned how nuclear power works. And I think that they have cancellation stamps here for our passport books. We're gonna go a look for that. Got our stamps. Not official cancellations, but still stamp. And uh, now we're heading back home. Let's see what Alyssa and Mila are doing. 
Olivia and I had fun at the nuclear reactor today. Um, she really liked it. I think she talked about it when we got back. Did she tell you how much she liked it? She said it was really cool. Um, we got back, we had to move campsites. We were having some power issues, but he put us in site D1, which he doesn't put anyone in because it's right in front of his house. But it is a lovely campsite. It's very private. And uh, I wish we could have been here the whole time. So tomorrow we're going to Wisdom, Montana to spend the night, and then we will see Big Hole National Battlefield as we're heading north to ultimately end up in Glacier. Mm -hmm.